Hello everyone. So some of you suggested that I make a video about Cottage Grove and there's actually a trail in Cottage Grove that I've been wanting to explore anyway so I figured I would do it. So yeah I'm in Cottage Grove right now. I'm going to check out the town. I'm gonna ride the Rau River Trail which is the trail that I've been wanting to ride and I'm gonna check out some covered bridges because there are a lot of covered bridges in Cottage Grove. It's kind of what the town is known for. I think there's like six of them. I decided to ride the Rau River Trail first because it's what I was most excited to do and the trailhead starts in downtown Cottage Grove right where I parked. My eyes are watering so bad. My face is gonna be so dry. Oh my gosh, can you see my tears? I think I'm on the wrong trail. I'm the blue dot and I should be on Rau River Road, I think. I wanted to go to the nature park, so I'm gonna find a street. It looks like there's a street up ahead. Look at the cute cow. I think the nature park might be up here. I don't know, I might be a little lost, but um, we'll see. I asked a kid for directions. <laughs> I'm at the nature park right now, and I think I was actually on the right path before the Mosby Creek Trail is what it was. And he said that there were some ponds and tunnels up this way, so I'm gonna check that out, and then I'm gonna go back to the trail that I was on before. I'm gonna go down here. There's like some weird birds. I don't know if you can, let me zoom in on it. It's standing st so still, I swear it's a bird right there. I've seen a couple of them. That one's not moving an inch. I'm at the end of the path and I did not see a tunnel. I have to say I'm not all that impressed with this nature park. I'm sure there's more to it than what I saw. There has to be, but from what I saw, it's not all that, that impressive. Here's a cool bridge up ahead. <gasps> a covered bridge. This one is the Mosby Creek Bridge and it looks like it's for cars to drive through. There's like that bridge and then that bridge. I bet this would look really cool in summer when all the trees are full. It would just be like a trail cutting a path right through the trees. This crosswalk up here, it's automatic. Watch, when I ride up to it, the lights are gonna light up. Whoa, see? All of a sudden it just lights up for the cars and stuff. You don't have to push anything, that's crazy. There's another covered bridge over there in the distance. See, I'm like, hang on, let me zoom out. <laughs> I can see it. Um, I don't know if this trail leads to it. It looked like the covered bridge was this way. I'm gonna go this way, and then I'll come back this way. This is the Curran Bridge. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that okay, but it's the only bridge in Oregon that's like two colors. Maybe not in Oregon, but just Lane County. I am so sorry if there's like a ton of wind noise in this video. I didn't bring my little muffler and it's really windy outside. Plus I'm riding my bike, so that probably was not wise of me. This trail runs from Cottage Grove all the way past Dorina Lake and it's a really peaceful trail. It's paved and flat the whole way. It passes through forests and meadows and it crosses rivers and it's just a really nice place to ride a bike or walk or do whatever. I imagine the lake is usually much fuller than this. The water level is really low. In Grants Pass, we like seriously have not got any rain this winter, like all winter, it has just not rained. This is around the spot where a scene from this movie was filmed. A lot of movies were actually filmed in Oregon and specifically around Cottage Grove. There are quite a few like, um, I think they were called Stand By Me, like the sign says, The General and The Emperor of the North. I've never seen any of those movies or heard of them, but they kept popping up in my research and since I've gotten Cottage Grove, I've seen a lot of signs for them, so they're obviously very proud. I just used this bathroom. There was no toilet paper. Luckily, I had a receipt in my backpack. I had to wipe with a receipt. I'm sure you all wanted to know that. And then I couldn't get the door open and I was like shoving on the door and I thought I was gonna be stuck in that bathroom forever because there's no one here. <laughs> it's actually starting to rain. Luckily I'm under the trees right now, but I can see that it's actually raining pretty decent out there. I'm not sure exactly how long this trail is. I saw everything during my research from 14 to 16 miles. Even the brochure for this trail said that it was 14 miles, but when you look at the actual trail, like the map that they include on the brochure, it had 16 mile markers. So is it 14 or 16? I don't know. Made it back, my bike was flashing between one and two bars. It says two right now, but a minute ago it said one. Oh, my butt hurts so bad. That was such a long 
bike ride and I feel like wind blown. My eyes are dry, my face is dry, and I'm just like, <sighs> I'm gonna ride the scooter now. I put the bike away. It's not easy to film while riding this thing though. I'm doing it. Off to downtown. Check it out, there's just like a train right in downtown. It's like here's the town, train, then the Route River Trails right here. This is it, Cottage Grove. It's another mural for the movies, the general that was filmed here. The crosswalks here is scary because when you put your finger over them, they don't go beep to let you know that it registered, and all of a sudden it's like, wait, wait. And then when it's time to go, the whole freaking button vibrates. Holy crap. There's no um, walk sign the hand blinks but there's no like white man walk sign it's really weird check out this cute area with like this really big mural over here and like look at the take a book leave a book thing it's like full of books it's a little book shop over there I think we just followed this street and it'll take us straight to the covered bridge I like all the bike racks here how they're like actual bikes <gasps> like that here's the bridge right here I thought it would be bigger this bridge definitely looks like it has seen better days. You would think they would take better care of it, especially considering it's right downtown. The oldest bridge in Lane County was actually Mosby Bridge, which we saw earlier. The water is very reflective out there. We're just gonna continue down this way. I'm not sure where the other bridge is. So I think we just follow this road for a while and it will take us there. There's all, I think we're also gonna pass a swinging bridge along the way. So here's where we just were. Downtown is that way. Now we're going this way. I'm an idiot. I'm going the wrong way. We need to go that way. Okay, we're on the right track now. Here's the swinging bridge. Doesn't seem to, oh yeah, it does swing. Oh my gosh, the whole bridge bounces. It feels so weird. Oh, look at the whole bridge shaking. This actually feels crazy. We're going onward that way. Here it is. This is actually not just any covered bridge, but a covered railroad bridge, and it's the last remaining covered railroad bridge west of the Mississippi. That was a tongue twister, kind of. You can kind of see they have like where the railroad was and then a little makeshift train. That's a ladder. You can actually go up there. That would be fun for like kids. I'm not gonna go there, but yeah. Oh, and they've got a railroad. I think this is actually all that I had planned to do today. Maybe. I'm gonna head back to my car and then I'll check my research, but I'm kind of nervous about my bike because I don't want anyone to steal it out of my car. I actually decided to ride through this park really quick because there's like a really cool fountain over there and it's just right across the street from where I'm parked. There's also a gold mining museum here. Museum. I always say that word weird. The Rao River Trail crosses through old gold mine areas from the 1800s. So this is kind of a gold mining place too. I guess that's why it's so historic. There's rocks down in there. And then I like the stairs over there. Grassy bleacher areas. I'm not sure what the purpose of this is. We'll get a view from the other side. Gosh, it feels so nice outside. I made it back to the car. My bike is still here. Everything is good. Sorry I haven't had the rest of the family in any of my videos recently. They're just really not interested in stuff like this, like exploring towns or sometimes even hiking on trails and stuff. I mean, Blaine and Merrick are getting older, so they have their own hobbies and interests, and Josh has his own hobbies and interests, and Rye's only five, so her attention span only lasts so long. But I actually do enjoy stuff like this, like coming out and exploring towns and hiking on trails. And it doesn't matter, as long as I am out of the house, I'm happy and making a video. I like making videos. But I am, I know I haven't been making a lot of videos lately, but that's because um, I'm trying to balance all the things in my life because I have my jewelry business and my writing and I'm trying to keep up with my YouTube channel. So my goal is to upload at least one video a month and if I have content to make more videos than that then I will but that's like the bare minimum that I'm trying to at least do but as for now I'm gonna go ahead and end this video if you liked it be sure to hit the thumbs up button thanks for watching see ya